Hi, it's Mitch here from Mobile Edge. Today we're going to talk about a common question that we're asked. Uh, if you've ever been into our store to buy a, a head unit, an in-dash radio, you'll notice uh, on our display that we have every radio tagged with a small tag that says we tested it uh, 2.41 undistorted volts or 5.55 undistorted volts. Um, very common question. People ask, what the heck does that mean? They don't see that you know, anywhere else that they go. Uh, well, it's very important. Uh, essentially what that is, is the undistorted voltage that the preamp outputs on the radio are able to put out. And that's real important when you're designing a system, when you're putting a system together. Typically speaking, the higher that number, the better a system can sound because the more voltage going to an amplifier, uh, more or less the less hard that amplifier has to work. It gives it more headroom, it gives it more dynamics, uh, just a better overall sound. And uh, it's very important that the customer knows exactly what they're getting. You know, some people don't need it. If they're not going to add an amplifier to their system, you know, something like this one right here with 2.03 volts, uh, you know, that's, that's plenty of voltage. It would just depend upon what feature set they'd want with the radio that would determine which one they'd select. So how do we come up with that number? Well, it's it's actually pretty simple. And uh, we use a, a tool that every car audio shop should probably have, uh, but probably doesn't, and that's an oscilloscope. Uh, we combine that with uh, the AutoSound 2000 CD104 test disc. What that disc is is, um, among other things, a whole bunch of sine waves and test tones that will allow us to analyze things on the oscilloscope. I have that loaded up into this deck right here. It's an Alpine uh, CDE-126BT and I have it set to track 10. Uh, we're going to start playing that now. You won't hear anything because I have the speakers off so it doesn't kill our ears. Um, but what we'll do is now look at the, uh, the oscilloscope. You'll see it's kind of loading up right now. Let me turn it so there's less glare. And you'll see that there's a, I uh, hope it's not blurry, a graph that came up there. At the top you'll see some numbers and uh, the top number, ouch, the top number is the uh, actual voltage that it's putting out. The second number is the frequency. So what this is is a 1 kilohertz, 1000 hertz test tone. And what we'll do is we'll turn this up. I'm turning the volume up on the radio right now. I'll turn that up until we see the graph start to look a little choppy, which it does right now. You'll see the tops of it are skewed. They're they're chopped off. That means that there's clipping present on the signal. So we'll turn it back down. Sorry about the glare. Turn it back down until that goes away. And that looks about right there. And you can see that the undistorted voltage on the 1 kilohertz test tone is 2.417 volts. Uh, nice clean graph. And uh, go over to the radio here. Up, oh, Just switch to uh, track 11. But uh, our volume was 29 on the head unit. That's another important aspect of knowing where the clipping point is on a radio, because believe it or not, uh, radios, uh, not just amplifiers, but radios have their limits also. And now we know that on this particular radio, its limit, uh, before we're going to hear or see any audible or visual clipping on an oscilloscope, is uh, 29 on the volume control. So when we're building this customer system, um, we would use 29 as their max volume and then set everything else up accordingly because obviously the signal uh, starts at the head unit. So if it's clipping out of the head unit, it's not going to get any better as it goes down the signal path. So, you know, that's a pretty basic version of how we do things, but just something that we do a little bit differently here. Uh, make sure that things are set up right. You can buy the best system in the world. If it's not set up right, uh, you might as well have went to the swap, swap meet and bought it. Um, you know, that's about it. I uh, appreciate your time. Uh, if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them. And uh, we'll talk to you again. Thanks. It's Mitch from Mobile Edge.